<clears throat> Alright, so this is my amazing, really cool, epic tutorial on how to make a skin for 40 Miner. I um, should probably cut that out. If you don't know what 40 Miner is, uh, well, you're probably in the wrong video. But it's a four-dimensional game where, like, you can shift your rotation in the fourth dimension. It's And it looks pretty similar to Minecraft. And the multiplayer has been released, like, two, three months ago, somewhere around that. And it's pretty unclear on how to make a skin. Important to know is that you do need uh, the Patreon for 40 Miner, otherwise you don't have access to multiplayer and don't have access to skins. But you could still already make a skin, but you just can't use it yet. So first thing you're gonna click is the download to Magicka Voxel. So there should be a link in the description, or you search it up on Google. You should be on a site that kind of looks like this. And then depending on if you're on Windows or Mac, you download that version. So uh, I think this is the download. And you download the .zip. Then you unzip it. And you click the .exe. If it tells you it's a virus, it is. Uh, it shouldn't be. It was fucked. <laughs> no, no, worry, it's not a virus. Now for the character models, join the 40 Miner Discord server or click one of the redyard.org links. If you're on Discord, you need to go to the this chat over here. And the mesh post is gonna add a pinned, a pinned post here with all the downloads. There should be a skeleton, this body, and a skinny body. Alright, what you do then is download the things on the Discord and save it somewhere you will remember. Then open your files and open uh, this thing. Give it a second. Okay, and then in here, drag the drag the skin file, the, the .fox file you downloaded, put it in here, then it will be here, and then you should have this. Or, give it a second, you could also have a skeleton, depending on what you want. So, uh, for me, I think it's easier to just use this one. Important to know, uh, you might not... Oh, yeah, as you can see here, they have organs. They, there is an inside. Because the game is 4D, uh, depending on your rotation, you can see the organs of the other players. Also, by the way, to get into the mode I was in drawing, uh, double click. Right click is looking around, scrolling is zooming in. Okay, so uh, here on the side, you have a bunch of colors. Problem is, you might not want one of these colors. So you click a color you, you're sure you don't want and isn't in one of this here. Then you can click on the color here and then you can change the colors here a bit and then you can oh nope that's erased and, and also you should probably click this one then you can paint with it here are different options for ways of drawing like a line like you can look you can make lines you should probably not do that uh control set us to reverse by the way you can undo a thing or you can put a, do the button there uh when doing making a character it's best to just paint over the existing skin so uh we're gonna make mario for the example uh i suggest you use this tool and you just paint over it unless you because if you do it on the second layer like on a layer on top of it it's gonna look very 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 weird and there's also this uh like you can do it also in a square like this the problem with doing that it also paints the inside like as you can oh well i did it not in a way that you would be able to see that but it also paints the inside so your organs will be the same color as your clothes and i'm I, well, my control key is stuck. Yeah, I don't think you want that. So I suggest you just paint with this tool. Also, when making a skin, don't you can see these red lines. Don't go outside of them because it won't work. You just that will be cut off. So stay within the red boxes. I'll just paint it real quick. Wait, how does Mario look again? Yeah, Mario does look like that. So some stuff you can do on the second layer because I think an overall would look better on the second layer, honestly. Yeah, so see how I'm making a mess on this outside? You should probably remove that later. I am rushing this way too fast. Uh, yeah, yeah, do this, do this. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. You know, this is a very important detail over there. Like, I think Mashville made a mistake while making the original body shape. So, yeah, you gotta fix that by doing that. So, this is like the top part of the arm over here. Uh, yeah. See, classic Mario. One big foot, one small foot. Add the eyes here yourself. You should probably not paint those, but you should do the attach. Uh, these eyes are a bit too normal for Mario. So, I'll be making them a bit longer. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's this hole behind the nose. Patch that up if you... Just looks like a big smiley. <laughs> Look, here we have Happy Mario with his happy face. He has hair, I forgot. Hair, I suggest you paint, otherwise it just looks bad. Okay, well now Mario has Cappy instead. You still need to learn, know how to export it, of course. Uh, here, you see an export button. You click sli slices, the one at the bottom. 
gonna be a PNG, uh, save it somewhere where you remember. And then if you have the 40 minor Patreon, go open that. You go to multiplayer, change skin, and then choose a file. Uh, remember where you saved it and then click it and there he is Super Mario I think I nailed it if there are any more questions just uh, you know ask me in the comments I probably forgot something wait I could check I, I wrote some stuff down not to forget oh yeah what not to do one minute later so this is not what what not to do you see you gotta save it do that backups shit